in this video we are going to discuss some uh, mcq in toc for unit 1 uh, so here uh, the equivalence of two finite automata is defined so when we call two finite automata either it might be nfa or dfa uh, nfa or dfa is the way in which we represent a finite automata okay so for the same language if there exist a finite automata if you can construct for the same language if you can construct two different finite automata then we can call those two finite automata as equivalent okay so equivalence actually defined by it should be same for uh, it should be there for same language okay same language in the sense it has to accept what all input like when we have language 1 and uh, sorry some set of token 1 and token 2 if my first finite automata that i have constructed accepts l1 then the second automata that i construct should also accepts l1 if this finite automata accepts l2 then this also has to accept l2 okay so when they accepts same set of input then we can call that as an equivalent of two finite automata okay so have same number of states no when two finite automata have same number of states we cannot say they are equivalent the transition might be different right and similarly have same number of edges this is also wrong okay two finite automata may have two uh, same number of it is number of edges and number of states okay so it is not equivalent can have same number of states and edges this is also wrong the reason is it has to accept same input okay so the option is recognize the same set of tokens okay when both the finite automata recognize the same set of tokens then we can call these two finite automata as equivalent okay so equivalence is defined by the acceptance of same language okay so this is your first one and the same question is which of the following is not a tuple of a tuple to represent a finite automata so we know finite automata can be uh, the tuples of the number of tuples in a finite automata are five tuples one is finite set of states finite set of input symbol transition starting state and set of final states okay so there is so uh, finite set of states it is there q finite set of input symbol this is also there finite set of tape alphabet actually we don't have any tape alphabet over here finite automata doesn't have any external memory unit okay so the tape al alphabet will not be there in case of finite automata finite set of final states it is there finite set of final states is there the only thing that is not there is finite set of tape alphabet okay and the next question is which one will have a finite set of tape alphabet which uh, find which automata actually has na it is push down automata push down automata consists of stack as a memory unit so what all the element that can be pushed into the stack that can be that is represented as finite set of tape alphabet so it is not tape alphabet it is stack alphabet so tape alphabet is constructed for linear bound automata and turing machine linear bound automata and turing machine has a tape so what all element that can be uh, inserted uh, that can be written in a tape can be given as this finite set of tape alphabet so when it is pushed down automata it consists of stack elements and for uh, finite automata we don't have anything there is no external memory unit so we don't have anything okay so the last question is which of the following language is regular okay for any regular language we can construct an nfa or dfa when it is possible we can call those language as a regular language okay so for nfa and dfa one constant we know is there is no external memory unit okay so first we consider this language this language is a power i followed by b power i and i value is greater than or equal to 0 so when the limit of i is given as greater than or equal to 0 it is infinite i value ranges from either 0 uh, or 1 or 2 or 3 and it is in infinite set okay and here it is a power i followed by b for b power i it means that 
I number of A's followed by I number of B's. So for the initial constraint, when I is equal to zero, what happened? There is no A and there is no B. So you don't have any input. It is epsilon. And when I is equal to one, then you have one A followed by one B, then the input will be A B. And I value is equal to two, two A's and two B's. So you'll have a state like this and it goes on. So it is an infinite state. We don't have any regular expression like uh, this has to remember something for the number of A's to count the number of A's and B's that should be at least one memory unit for it. At least SAC should be there. Okay, so when the set goes as an infinite set, then this language is not a regular language. This actually comes under a context free language. And uh, we use push down automata to construct these kind of thing. Okay, but consider this case. So here, this is a place where it is exactly given as a power i, b power i, and i value ranges from 0 to 5, not more than that. So when it is fixed number of inputs so it actually means when i value is equal to zero you have md when i value is equal to one you have ab i is equal to two you have two a two b and i is equal to three you have three a's and three b's and i is equal to four four a's and four b's similarly when i is equal to five you have it is strictly less than so you don't have this epsilon and there is nothing so we can construct a, a finite automata that accepts only these four inputs. So it is possible. Okay, so when it is a countable number of inputs, then surely the input can be. For this input, we can construct a regular language for it. Consider this case. So this case also similar to that of the first example. And when i is greater than or equal to one, it goes into an infinite category. So when the input is infinite, we don't have any external memory unit to remember the input size in all. Okay, so then it is hard for us to construct an NFA or DFA. So this also doesn't come under a regular expression, sorry, regular language. And this is also not none of the above known there. So when it is given like this, when the values are mentioned properly, then you can construct a regular expression for it. Okay, thank you.